Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're looking at space weather, sunspots, coronal holes, the solar control of another commodity price index, and the perfect storm for ionospheric disruption by solar flares. What would that look like? But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find things were mostly quiet. We did have several small events on the incoming limb, the left side, but right now, things are pretty calm more is coming, and the departing coronal hole would likely begin to impact Earth today. We're already seeing a slightly increased geomagnetic impact, and that should sustain for at least two days, as the amplified solar wind stream engulfs our planet to kick off the week here. Looking next to the sunspots, blank. Tiny umbras will likely be fully decayed by tonight, leaving us watching the incoming limb to see if the next set of sunspots can do anything more. One coronal hole departs to the right, but top left, the next one is incoming. We'll have to see how close it reaches down to the equator in the coming days, but the next magnetic opening is starting to be visible now. Interesting study here by Belkin. He's been pumping out these solar economic papers recently. He finds that the price of aluminum hits its minimum about a year after sunspot maximum. So that is expected to be this year and next year. I mean, guess if you have a big aluminum purchase to make, do it now. Lastly, folks, excellent study on the ionospheric impact of solar flares. They say that there is a flare-only maximum level unless proton storms are involved simultaneously. So let's say you have two consecutive solar flares occurring. Each would disrupt the ionosphere to, say, level 2. They don't add up to a level 4 disruption if they happen back-to-back, -back, probably only level 3. But if the first flare also launches a proton storm, all bets are off. Amplification can be additive or greater, up to exponential. Again, that flare with a proton storm and subsequent flares can do much more to the top of the sky. Folks, you've got two more Observer Ranch events in August here, two big ones next month too. Observer Meetup, August 30th, is an event for meeting other like-minded observers, for networking and community. Highly recommend the Pole Shift Conferences. Dr. Dunning will be coming to Founders Weekend. And then October and November are jam-packed and will get even busier on the books the next week. In addition to all of this, the documentary release premiere will likely be in November. Finalized details on that are coming. Book your trip to come see us at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.